Hi, Mark uh, here again, uh, just to show you a quick tutorial on how to create uh, objects, uh, for example, build small buildings or something, uh, very quickly. Say, for instance, for creating a town or something like that, you want uh, inside and outside walls. Now, in this particular case, uh, you're not going to have any thickness on these walls, but that's something you can do in a different way but this is just to create something fairly simple again low poly as well so as you can see you've got a floor not particularly good floor and some uh, brickwork for the walls i'll just delete that and what i mean to say is when i pr press ctrl uh, shift k uh, which is a new shape as you can see there shortcut key and press the uh, shift key and left mouse button control shift k again you've then got a normal object like so go onto the face selection and in the top one and press backspace you can see that you've got the outside walls but nothing on the inside now you think well mm, that's no good because in some cases it might be useful for certain things you're going to build but uh, you, you normally want <laughs> inside walls as well as outside. Um, so in this particular case, what we do, we're still on face selection. Make sure select hidden here is on. And you make sure when you highlight them, you can then highlight all of them without having to go around to each one individually. Now, the first thing you want to do is duplicate. Now, if you press Control and D, it creates a separate game object, which is not what we want. So press Control Z to get rid of that, and we're back to where we were. And we're going to go on to the Pro Builder, Duplicate Faces. Now you've got the option to be able to press, uh, sorry, uh, create a game object or submesh. Make sure it's a submesh and press Duplicate. Now, when you come out of that you think oh it's not there Control Z to go back to the highlighted section it is there uh, and I'm just going to move it up I've got one meter at a time to increment snap increment snap so I'm going to press Control and left key and up and you can see they're still there but they are separate sub mesh faces so I'm just going to bring them back down by pressing Control Z again twice come down to here which is flip face normals if you uh, put the mouse pointer on it and press the shift key you've got alt n and that's a shortcut for it so if i press alt n you can now see that you've got inside faces for all the walls so if you want you can go back to the object selection and you can put some kind of wall on there, something like that. Or in what you saw earlier was this type of wall that then gives you an inside and outside face for all the walls. And if you highlight this, sorry, go to face selection, I could put, say, floor down like that. Now I did actually extend it and it's not complicated but it's not straightforward if you wanted to extend this say for instance another meter if i try and bring this out you think oh what's happened here well what's happened here is that the inside face came out and extended the whole thing but the outside face stayed where it was so all you have to do is highlight that again control and left mouse and come out one meter and hey presto you're there so that's just a quick way of creating buildings low poly which is what we want time saving doesn't get too complicated you can then start contouring things uh, each face to put in um, doors and windows etc hope that helps thanks a lot bye